Kicking off our list at number 10 is the Commodore 64. Introduced in 1982, this computer not only shattered sales records by selling over 17 million units, but also became a cultural icon of the 80s. Its affordability and versatile functionality made computing accessible to the general public. Users marveled at its advanced graphics and sound capabilities for the time, making it a popular platform for gaming and software development. However, its innovative features didn't come without quirks. The Commodore 64's slow disk drive speed was a common frustration among users. At number nine, we spotlight the IBM System 360, a mainframe that revolutionized business computing in the 1960s. IBM invested $5 billion into developing the System 360, a risky move that paid off by dominating the computer industry for decades. Its architecture introduced the concept of a family of computers with interchangeable software and peripherals, a first in the industry. While it was a technological marvel, programming the System 360 was notoriously complex, requiring a deep understanding of its unique assembly language. Number eight shines a light on the Apple II, a computer that launched Apple into the tech stratosphere when it hit the market in 1977. Selling over six million units, the Apple II was praised for its user-friendly interface and expandability via slots for peripheral devices. It was a favorite in schools and homes, credited with introducing many to personal computing. Yet, its open architecture also led to a proliferation of third-party accessories and software, sometimes causing compatibility headaches. The seventh spot goes to the Altair 8800, the computer that sparked the PC revolution in 1975. Although it sold only a few thousand kits, its significance lies in inspiring hobbyists and future tech moguls alike. The Altair 8800 had no keyboard or monitor, relying on switches and lights for input and output, a user experience that seems unfathomable today. This rudimentary interface laid the groundwork for the development of the first computer languages for personal computers, including Microsoft's first product, Altair Basic. At number six, we feature the IBM Personal Computer, or IBM PC. Launched in 1981, it set the standard for PC compatibility, selling over two million units by 1983. Its open architecture fostered a vibrant ecosystem of software and hardware, catalyzing the growth of the PC industry. However, its success also led to the rise of PC clones, which eventually eroded IBM's dominance in the market. The IBM PC's BIOS was closely guarded, but competitors reverse-engineered it, a move that led to legal battles but ultimately expanded the PC market. Number five celebrates ENIAC, the electronic numerical integrator and computer. Completed in 1945, ENIAC was groundbreaking, performing calculations thousands of times faster than mechanical machines. It was instrumental in calculations for the hydrogen bomb and other complex scientific computations. However, Programming ENIAC was laborious, involving manual rewiring and setting of switches. Its operational quirks included frequent tube failures, making maintenance a constant challenge. At number four, we delve into the realm of quantum computing with Google's quantum computer. In 2019, Google announced it had achieved quantum supremacy, a milestone indicating its quantum computer could solve problems beyond the reach of classical computers. This innovation promises to revolutionize fields from cryptography to drug discovery. However, quantum computing is still in its nascent stages, with challenges in qubit stability and error rates presenting hurdles to practical applications. Number three brings us to the Apple Macintosh, unveiled in 1984 with the famous 1984 Super Bowl commercial. The Macintosh popularized the graphical user interface and the mouse, selling 70,000 units in its first 100 days. Its user-friendly design and innovative software, like MacWrite and MacPaint, set new standards for personal computing. Nonetheless, its high price and limited software library at launch were points of criticism. At number two, we celebrate not just a computer, but an innovation that changed the world, the World Wide Web. Developed by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 on a Next computer, the web transformed the Next into the first web server, igniting the digital revolution. 
The web democratised information, breaking down barriers and connecting the world in ways never before imagined. It's the foundation of the digital age, reshaping economies, societies and cultures. Before the World Wide Web, there were several proprietary online services, such as CompuServe, Prodigy and America Online, AOL, which provided their subscribers with content like news, forums, software downloads and email, all through a standardised interface but not interconnected networks. And at number one, we honour Alan Turing's Universal Turing Machine, a theoretical construct that laid the foundation for modern computing. Turing's 1936 paper introduced the concept of a machine that could simulate any other machine's computation, a fundamental principle of the digital computer. While a theoretical concept, the Turing machine's influence on the development of computer science is unparalleled, highlighting the profound impact of abstract ideas on technological advancement. Every computer, every piece of software and every digital device today owes its existence to Turing's vision. There you have it, the top 10 computers that have revolutionised our world. From the earliest electronic computers to the frontiers of quantum computing, these machines and concepts have reshaped society, fueled innovation and transformed our lives in unimaginable ways.